Today it's no secret that we live in an era of global changes that are initiated by a certain group of people leading us to the apocalypse. The Austrian Ministry of Defense recently issued a warning in which it expressed concerns about an indefinite power outage. The Austrian armed forces were right in their latest forecasts regarding national security risks including events that began in 2020. Now military experts have warned about a large-scale power outage for an indefinite period. The question is not whether there will be a large power outage but when the conservative Austrian defense minister Claudio Tonar assured blackout, as they call it, will lead to the fact that traffic lights, ATMs, telephone, and internet and other services will stop working, which indicates an extreme dependence on digitization of data and the daily need for these devices. Less developed countries will also have serious consequences because they can remain without electricity for a long time and thousands of patients can simply remain without life support systems. Are we being prepared for a global power outage and if so, what will happen then about this is today's video and since it is known that the top officials of the state do not make unsubstantiated statements and this is what the Austrian Minister of the Interior Karl Annie Hummer said about the power outage is one of the greatest threats to modern states the cooperation agreement signed today between the Federal Ministry of the Interior and NPG guarantees that security and order can be provided as much as possible in the event of a power outage Carl N. E. Hummer wrote on Twitter on September 27. 2021 experts from Austria launched information support in which they give vital tips on what you need to have on hand in case of an event of this magnitude fuel candles batteries canned food and drinking water what to do when nothing works when there is no water or electricity major power outages have huge consequences with the help of this company they intend to raise awareness of citizens and give valuable advice currently experts have not determined an approximate date when this may happen but Austria aims to be fully ready by 2025 such a power outage may occur globally due to the probability of powerful solar storms large solar flares and solar storms are capable of plunging our technological civilization into the stone age so judging because the Austrian public is officially being prepared for such a scenario then most likely there are plans or you have something similar and now let's take a closer look at what awaits us in such a scenario and so a complete blackout is far from the most common scenarios of the end of the world in popular culture, nuclear war, various epidemics and environmental disasters are ahead of it by a margin, and this is strange because in fact the disappearance of electricity is a frighteningly realistic plot modern civilization cannot exist without electricity it is thanks. To electricity that factories, banking data centers function, but the electrical networks of the marginal felling and systems are extremely vulnerable to malfunctions, there is a lot of evidence for this, it is enough to recall how two unsuccessfully fallen trees de energized the whole of Italy for almost a day, according to scientists, as the expansion of electrical networks and fragility will only increase in the future, similar incidents will happen more often. But what happens if electricity disappears altogether throughout the country the probability of this is not so great on the planet, but it is there in order to understand what will happen if electricity disappears, let's answer the question how it is produced there are two types of power plants, fuel and green in quotation marks, and even such a seemingly complex device as a nuclear power plant works according to the principle of a boiler, the heat released during a nuclear reaction boils water turning it into steam and the steam drives a turbine a rotating generator at the heart of electricity production is the electromagnetic induction of the turbine causes the conductor to rotate in a magnetic field during this voltage and electric current arise in the conductor and even renewable energy sources hydroelectric power stations metrics work on a similar principle just in this case the turbines are powered by water or wind they are steam respectively not what kind of fuel and i need the truth. Solar panels stand apart, they use completely different methods, they are studied by solar energy interesting fact four countries in the world have completely switched to renewable electricity production Albania Iceland Paraguay and the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Russia, the total percentage the generated green energy is 16 as much as 9 tenths of percent according to data for 2016. There are two ways to deprive humanity of electricity the destruction of the power supply network and the most powerful electromagnetic pulse at first glance it seems that the first scenario is absolutely impossible the electric networks are decentralized and modern civilization allows you to quickly troubleshoot problems, 
but in fact this is not quite so some researchers believe that the more power plants and wires on the planet, the more fragile the power supply network becomes, the larger the system becomes. The more any damage caused becomes unpredictable the decentralization of the power grid plays a cruel joke with them due to the lack of a single control center, in particular, this is due to the fact that electric grid companies belong to the private sector and are reluctant to exchange information with each other, sometimes even small damages can lead to serious consequences, for example, in 2012, a malfunction occurred in India that deprived half of the country of energy for almost two days. Causing huge damage to the economy and disrupting the daily routine of millions of people, experts blame the privatization of the energy sector for everything companies do not want to allocate resources to maintain backup capacities in the network that could act as such a safety cushion during force majeure and, as some researchers believe, Climate changes over time can prevent green power plants from properly generating current over the past 10 years due to a lack of rains, hydroelectric power. Plants in Kenya, India, Tanzania and Venezuela could not cope, which also led to such a shutdown, scientists' anxiety is reinforced by the fact that the need for electricity is growing all the time, according to some estimates, between in 2008 and 2035, the need for electricity will grow by 80% and natural resources may simply not be enough to provide such a need, powerful electromagnetic pulses can also pose a danger, and this happens only with an incredibly huge solar storm or after the use of the right warheads in the air, which also leads to a local electromagnetic pulse, this can really turn off electrical devices for a while, and the higher a nuclear bomb is detonated in the sky the more powerful the electromagnetic pulse will be 60 the Americans put the experiment under under the name Starfish Prime, a nuclear warhead was detonated at an altitude of 400 kilometers above the Pacific Ocean to test the strength of an electromagnetic pulse 1500 kilometers from the epicenter in Hawaii. 300 street lights were turned off and many televisions, radios, and other household appliances failed and now about what happens in the first week after the global power outage, let's say the electricity went out the first hours everything will be as always, everyone at least once at home turned off energy suspiciously that the phone also does not catch communication, but nothing else foreshadows trouble one of the first problems that people will face is lack of water, first of all it will hit people living in country houses, they are often not connected to the sewer and are forced to pump water using electric pumps from the well, but in cities problems are likely to begin if electricity disappears in pumping stations at once, then the water in the sewer will disappear, by the way, this has already happened in the city of Allen USA, problems with cooling and cooking food will appear in the refrigerator, electric stoves will stop working. Gas pressure on highways is being chased by electric compressors, which means gas stoves will also quickly become unusable if we consider such a block within the framework of a scenario with a powerful magnetic storm, in this case remote communication between people will become almost impossible radio stations television and the internet will stop working all modern means of notification will disappear spare generators will also not help even if the storm does not affect small personal gasoline generators, it is still pointless to turn them on for the sake of communication with people central communication nodes will not work probably first you decide to go to the grocery store, but most supermarkets the scanners of goods at the checkout will not work, they will also not be able to pay with a card. It will be lucky if someone agrees to take on a personal and not print on the streets of cities, traffic lights will be turned off in megacities. This will instantly cause a transport collapse and emergency services like firefighters, police officers, and doctors will not be able to coordinate their work properly for a number of reasons, it will become almost impossible to drive through the streets and it will not work to get through to call for help, planes in the air will hardly be able to sit down with disconnected communications, chaos will quickly begin and coordinate departures and landings will not work likely many of them will not reach their destination forced to make an emergency landing where the eyes look unlucky and those who will at this moment go in the elevator will have to get out of there manually because of the lack of police forces in large cities, looting will begin very soon, people will rob shops and pharmacies and it is unlikely that someone will be able to stop them, 
but especially frightening is what can happen to nuclear power plants, electricity helps them cool down, reactor overheating can trigger an explosion. The so-called meltdown will begin or the melting of the core of a nuclear reactor is purely technically exactly what happened in Chernobyl, for example, just in that case the reactor overheated not because of a lack of electricity, in theory, the station has spare power sources that should instantly intercept the load on themselves, but several powerful electromagnetic pulses will first turn off the main power supply and then the backup something similar happened at Fukushima on March 11, 2011. A wave flooded emergency generators, which caused the cooling system of several reactors to fail, this turned into one of the main environmental disasters since we see various sources of information at different times reports that such a possibility really exists and given the latest statement by officials Austria, we can assume that this incident may partially occur in some countries and it seems that it is not so long to wait friends, let's hope for the best but prepare for the worst in the comments. Be sure to write your opinion on this. Also put your thumbs up if you liked the video and share it with your like-minded people, it will not be superfluous to subscribe to the channel if you are still this has not been done to everyone yet.